वेलकम यू वर्स टू सॉफ्ट डेमी और सॉफ्टवेयर इंजीनियरिंग अकेडमी टूडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस विद यू अबाउट एडमिन प्रेफरेंसेस अर्न वैल्यू ऑप्शन एंड द सब ऑप्शन इज टेक्निक फॉर कंप्यूटिंग एस्टिमेट टू कंप्लीट हेयर आई विल ओपन प्राइमरी पी सिक्स इन एडमिन एडमिन प्रेफरेंसेज आई विल गो हेयर इन एडमिन प्रेफरेंसेज वैन यू ओपन एप एडमिन प्रेफरेंसेज इन टाइम पीरियड बिलो देर इज अर्न वैल्यू एंड द सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज टेक्निक फॉर कंप्यूटिंग एस्टिमेट टू कंप्लीट it's etc so there is a first option which is etc is equal to remaining cost for activity so that one is remaining cost for activity so total budgeted minus what you have actually achieved then you will get estimate to complete so the second option is etc is equal to pf means performance factor multiply by budget at completion minus earn value so here are some factors how to calculate your performance factor so maybe pf is equal to 1 you can put 1 and multiply by you can get this evaluation so it will be same as it is if you click this one or this one no matters so the second option is pf is equal to 1 divided by your cost cost performance index the third one is 1 divided by cost performance index into schedule performance index so the fourth one is pf you can put custom performance factor here i have already told you about this one that admin preferences will be impacted when you are creating a new project or you are importing a project from your database from your other database or you can import it from your system then this admin preferences setting will act user preferences will be act on while you open a project so this open project cannot be used to be affected from admin preferences so maybe admin preferences will be controlled by many users so i will close this one because it will not impact here on my schedule but i will show you the, how this option will work in details first of all i have created an excel sheet to explain you all about this one so here i have written admin preferences earned value so the first option we have discussed about here in admin preferences go here again etc estimate to complete is equal to remaining cost for activity so etc is equal to remaining cost for an activity so budgeted total cost budgeted total cost here you can write budgeted total cost here is actual total cost when we minus budgeted total cost and actual total cost here you can see the formula c9 minus d9 so so c9 this is budgeted total budgeted cost minus actual total cost you will get your estimate to complete so there is a second option like here written etc is equal to performance factor that one is only there is two option okay so in this option budget at completion minus earned value here it's written estimate to complete this is performance factor budget at completion minus earned value calculation you can see the formula here so d14 minus e14 and into c14 so c14 this one c14 so you can see c14 so you can calculate c14 pf is equal to 1 c14 can be 1 you can calculate 1 divided by cost performance index 1 divided by cost performance index into schedule performance index as it is written here so also you can put custom so for example like here you can see the total budget cost is 24000 and 100 dollars and your earned value and value cost earned value cost here you can see budget at completion so we need to required here budget at completion instead of budget total cost so we need budget at completion that will be for 24100 minus earned value 4000 so here is 17681 it's change because i have already changed here in the earned value so i will go here in this one i will press f5 maybe i have changed already before creating this video so that will impact here so here you can see 20092 here you can see the same value here as estimate to complete 4008 dollar minus 
from 24100 and the remaining will be 20092 dollars so this one multiplied by performance factor as you can see in the wbs the unit will be same as i have written in the technique for computing estimate to complete as written i have selected this option on the top it's applied to all of the below wbs one and i applied on the top it applied on sub wbs on all levels so this one option is completed etc is equal to remaining cost for activity so pf is equal to one is also same one will be multiplied by budget at completion minus earned value if you click this one so you will see the same option as uh, you will apply it on all all the below wbs so here it will be same i will press f5 so you will see it will have same effect 20092 so there is nothing change because the pf factor is one now i have to calculate my pf factor manually so there is some issue whenever you will add you will calculate your pf factor from performance cost performance index there will be the prima vera will not show any changes because there is still some issues in prima vera so prima vera cannot calculate your cost performance index and divided by one your performance factor there your performance factor cannot be calculated from your uh, this cost performance index and cost performance index and scheduled performance index but i have a trick to calculate this one this performance factor and you can put in that way but uh, there is some issues because in performance factor it cannot calculate manually because it changes in seconds to second so you have to refresh your system so that's why the cost is having different concept and because the prima vera is the basically make on your critical path method and the project evaluation review technique so the basic purpose all is uh, of the prima vera is cpm analysis so cpm it can be used by cpm but we also use for costing and other units and other quantity purpose but the basic use of the prima vera is cpm so performance factor is equal to one divided by cost performance index cannot be calculated because cost performance index there is some issues in prima vera it cannot be calculated maybe some other viewers or some other youtubers show you or some other planning units explain you this one but it cannot be happens in admin preferences it cannot be happen because new when you add a new project or when you create new project it will act that time but in during the project in ws stage if you change that one one divided by cost performance index it will not happen for example i can show you again here in the prama vera for example there is a cost performance index this project i have already updated this schedule and i have already make an actual units i will also tell you about cost performance index and schedule performance index in upcoming videos i will explain you how can we calculate cost performance index you can see formula from internet there are a lot of formula for to calculate uh, a lot of explanation uh, not formula lot of explanation about the cost performance index it's not a difficult it's a simple formula to calculate your cost performance index basically your actual units when you put your actual units it will be uh, it will be help you out to calculate your uh, your cost actual cost and your uh, your actually the earned uh, earned uh, value so the cost performance index i have calculated here 0.95 and schedule performance index here is 0.94 so 0.95 so when we go here and in the cost performance index if we put here 0.95 let's show you 0.95 so the factor is 1.05 if we put here the factor 1.05 so you there the value should be 21096 dollars so if we go in the wbs and we change this was to cost performance index one divided by cost performance index let's 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 go to top here and we change this one to one divided by cost performance index and here i will see all the other wbs are changes or not now i will go here in activities i will press f5 let's see if the changes happen or not see there is no changing 20092 as i told you there will be no changes because the changing should be the 21096 dollars okay so what the value i have put 0.95 into one there the performance factor is 1.05 if i go here in the custom there is an option custom option 1.05 you will see here 
if I put here 1.05 and I go here in activities and I will press F5 so you will see it will change here let me show you again and WBS here when we go here and again and when we click this one performance factor it will apply it all so let's see first all it's happened or not so sometimes you add but it's not happened here applied here so now press f5 so now we will see here the changes will occur $21,096 you can see here $21,096 so here the same value I have calculated so if there is 0.80 the CPI is 0.80 then this value that this defector will be our 1.25 so this will be our budgeted so you can see here if I put 1.25 here also the estimate to complete will be higher so if your CPI is less then your project will be our budgeted so you can see 25,000 required to complete that project but we don't have an actually available budget for that one so if you have a one equal to one one CPI your CPI is equal to one then performance factor will be one if you put one here then your project is on track so if your project have CPI 1.20 here the value of CPI is 1.20 here is 0.95 as I have told you uh, I have told you already about 0.95 1.20 if there is CPI 1.20 then your performance factor will be 0.83 then your project will be under budget you can see here 16,676.36 so same here estimate to complete so you can go here also in WBS and click here and you can go here manually you can apply here 0.83 if we apply here 0.83 and go here in activities it will be calculated as I told you before that whenever you put your custom values it will be shown here so we will apply f5 here let's wait for 16,676 so the issue is not that the Primavera don't know how to calculate your estimate to complete it knows very well how to forecast your estimate to complete but the problem is for cost performance index and schedule performance index it don't divide to calculate your performance factor so this one is for cost performance index so there is SPI also so if I assume that my CPI is 1 CPI cannot be 1 it will be 1 1.8 0 0.95 0 0.98 something there will be value but I say that my SPI if the SPI is greater than uh, 1.1 the equal value then your uh, schedule will be ahead if your SPI is less than one then your uh, schedule is on delay so you can see here if your SPI is 0.85 then your schedule is delayed so there is also impact on your estimate to complete so you can also check from here if you put here 0.87 so you can see here the factor is calculated so you required 17 4, 8, 8, 80. your schedule is ahead that's why you required less cost to complete so if you do work faster you can see your schedule is ahead that's why you uh, you need less amount to complete that project so if you are on delay 1.18 so your estimate to complete will be higher so your project will be delayed if your project is uh, delayed your SPI is higher then you require more money to complete that project so this is our today's content about the technique for computing estimate to complete thanks for watching soft demi if you have any recommendation of any new content so if you have any suggestion for new content you can give us we will make a video on it thanks for watching soft demi we will come up with latest videos and latest technique to understand advanced planning engineering so thanks for watching soft demi we will meet in the next video